Hi, uh, happy Pride Month to all of our family in the queer community in Philadelphia and around the world. Um, I'm so excited about this initiative of When Did We Know to celebrate Pride Month. Again, my name is Peter Danzig and I am a psychotherapist here at the Mazzoni Center. I use they, he pronouns. And I can remember knowing pretty early on that I was attracted to male presenting people. Um, it was something that kind of started very young through my interest. I noticed uh, as a child that I was definitely not interested in um, cars or sports. Uh, I was very interested in, um, you know, collecting dolls and toys that were considered really effeminate at the time. And I, had, I still have this amazing mother who taught us that toys are just toys and always encouraged our creativity and expression. And uh, as I learned more about just who I was and the ways that I was expressing myself, I would come across these questions of who I was, I was attracted to. And um, they were always boys <laughs> uh, through high school, college, um, and now I still um, present and identify the same way. Um, but I remember this, this feeling that there was something about me that was just very different uh, than all of my friends. And, you know, one of the special things I think that hopefully we come to realize is that it's those special things that make us unique, that difference is what makes us special. I, I like to call it our queer superpower. <laughs> and, you know, if I can look back and consider those moments, I now, although they were difficult at the time, I now look at them as growing moments, allowing me to be who I am unapologetically. And I, I always look for ways to support my clients and uh, everybody I meet in that sense of authenticity. Um, it's even led uh, to my current work as a geek certified uh, psychotherapist here in Philadelphia, where we look at the ways that our interests um, and geek culture inspire discussions on mental health. Um, and it just, you know, I, I just recently actually um, purchased this vintage My Little Pony collection that I had as a child um, to kind of spark these inner dialogues with myself as to why was I interested in this and why did I feel like I had to hide it for so long. Uh, and now, it's funny when my clients walk into my office, they're like, oh my gosh, these things are so awesome. I had them as a kid or I couldn't have them, but it's so great to be able to hold that now. And it's just wonderful to know that that, that child who was hiding who they were now as a psychotherapist can use those interests as a way to connect with myself internally and with everyone else. Uh, I just remember feeling this great fondness walking into a, a doll aisle and, and seeing the intricate clothing and bright colors and soft places to land with unicorns and mermaids and things of the sort. And to this day, that's still very much my interest. Um, so yeah, I encourage everyone to kind of reach deep down into that inner child and, and talk to them and ask them what they could or couldn't express at the time that they can now. Um, so I first knew based on my interests and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud, I'm proud. So everybody happy Pride Month and just to remember that the Mazzoni Center is always here in many capacities for your physical and mental health in any way that we can be. Our clinicians are really kind, warm-hearted people and we want nothing um, but the best for our Philadelphia queer community. So thank you for allowing us the opportunity to work with you and happy Pride.